chief executive of state-owned Israel Aerospace Industries. The primary builder of the Aero system stated that the system has been operational for decades. In a key milestone on Saturday, the Aero 3 was used for the very first time against ballistic missiles in a salvo scenario. The missile defense system effectively intercepted munitions inside and outside the atmosphere. The Arrow's success on Saturday night in defending Israel is likely to please Germany, which recently signed a contract with Israel and the United States to procure the Arrow 3 system. Now, the Arrow 3 is a U.S.-Israeli built missile defense interceptor designed to defeat medium-range ballistic missiles. The missile uses a hit-to-kill warhead to engage targets in space as well. And it is the longest-range interceptor currently fielded with the Arrow weapon system, complementing the Arrow 2, which engages targets in the upper atmosphere. So the Arrow 3 interceptor interfaces with the Arrow weapon system, which includes a launcher, ground-based radar, and battle management system. The Arrow 3 missile consists of a two-stage solid fueled booster with a separating kinetic kill vehicle. The missile fits in a 21-inch vertical launch tube and has an estimated flyout range of up to 2,400 kilometers. Now, the Arrow 3's boosters and kill vehicle employ thrust or vector control for maneuvering. And as for the Center for Strategic and International Studies, the interceptor also includes a deployable rare flare for added aerodynamic stability. If Israel strikes back at Iran, it could risk losing international support and have to defend its airspace alone. But the Arrow 3 has proved itself to be more than capable of holding off any kind of projectiles coming towards Israel like the one we saw recently, which are fired from Iran.